So this is five exercises or five movements you can do if you're feeling edgy, anxious, cooped up, whatever's going on for you at your house. Obviously the best thing you can do is meditate and you should check out my friend, Ceremonia uh, Meditation, my friend Zuzana, who's an excellent meditation teacher and give you a lot of tools that can help you deal with anxiety or stress or just an overloaded brain. But I can give you a couple of movements and physical things you can do that can do the it's, same thing. And it's great to combine apple. them. It is apple, yes. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is breathing. You can do this laying down, you can do it standing up, but you wanna bring your awareness to the physical moment of your body. What that means is, instead of being worried about how you did feel yesterday, how you do feel, does your throat hurt, are you coughing, all these things, really connect to what is actually happening in your body. Like maybe you're not aware that your shoulders are really tense right now and you can just exhale and feel them release a lot more and you didn't even realize how tense you were. So bring your awareness to the physical body, this moment of your physical body, not how it felt, not how it's going to feel, but how you feel right now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take your hands, your thumbs are gonna go behind your ribs and your fingers will wrap around your rib cage and then think like an accordion. So when you in, I'm doing breathing. So when you inhale, you'll go out wide to the side. So laterally breathing, inhale, ribs go wide. You can hold it for a second or two. Exhale, blow it out. Inhale big, wide to the side, exhale. And just focus on feeling the inhale, feeling the ribs come out and feeling go back to neutral. You're not trying to brace your abdominals. You're just letting it go back to neutral. Do that a couple of times. If you're really feeling anxious, add in that breath holding. It sort of just recenters you. And then when you exhale, just think of letting, letting tension go. Good, practicing breathing over there. So that's number one, accordion breathing. Very good, very good. Number two is twists. Everybody knows is twists. Is Elmo for C? Yeah, Elmo is for C. Mm, homeschooling, not going so great. Thank God she's only three. So we're gonna do a twist. You know the twist. You're gonna extend your legs long, cross one over. If it feels good for you and you can keep both of your sits bones down, you can cross the other one underneath you. If that doesn't feel right, keep it long. The first thing we're gonna do is sit up tall. So you're gonna find length through the crown of your head instead of jutting your chest forward, you just wanna feel butt. tall and not feeling your butt. Right, okay, so you're gonna hug this thigh in, the front thigh. Not feeling your hips. Yes, not feeling your hips, okay. Not feeling the hips either. Yeah, okay. That then you're gonna inhale and you're gonna lift tall and on your exhale. That's your feet. Yes. As you exhale, you're gonna turn your head, your neck, your shoulders, and most importantly, your eyeballs inside your head without tension, without holding your breath. You just wanna be turning as much as you can. Your spine will go where your eyes see. So try to turn your eyeballs inside of your head, not in a tense way, but just like you're trying to look all the way behind you, like somebody called your name and you wanna see them and they're all the way behind you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So inhale, lift, yeah, yeah, exhale, yeah, 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 yeah. and twist, right? Repeat that on both sides. So you're trying to get as much rotation as you can without forcing it. So think lift up, rotate around, turn your eyeballs inside your head. Make sure you do both sides evenly and then notice which side is tighter. You'll notice because you are staying in the present moment of your physical body, right? Okay, so the next one is a back bend breath. So this you should do wherever you are. If you are very pregnant, you're not doing a big back bend. If you have back issues, you're not doing a very big back bend. If you have a big ball. Oh, oh good, just leave it right there. Can I some more? Um, yeah, in a minute, I'll get you some more. So, so uh, a big ball is a great thing to use. You can sit on it and then just roll yourself down so your chest is open here. Inhale. I can do that. Yeah, you can do one too letting your head make sure your head feels supported and you want to breathe right here into your chest um thank you for that kiss mm, it tastes like blueberry yogurt okay and you're going to go inhale big opening through your chest exhale blow it out so don't think of it really as chest breathing even though that's what it is think of it as breathing into your heart or your heart space um and think of like opening up right like oh good job mimi's going to show you an advanced version right here come on up 
Come on. Mimi's going to show you an advanced version on a yoga wheel. So you can use really whatever you have. If you have a foam roller, you can do that. And you're just thinking about getting some breath here, getting that spot where we all hold tension, right? When you hear new horrible things on the news and you go, it's that spot. So you want to think of just opening it up. If you ever watched the Care Bears, you know how they used to shoot stuff out of their chest? That's what you want to think. So you're inhaling and you're letting go of all the tension and stress. Oh my God, this is so good. I got to move you over. This kid. Look at this back bend. Can't really see all of it, but it's amazing. So breathe into your chest, right boobs? Inhale. Yeah. And blow it all out. And you're just like getting rid of that, that stagnation, that energy that gets stuck there as we get nervous, right? Breathing into your heart. So that is number three. Right. So number four is, whoa, come on up, is just a little self-massage. You can use little balls. If you have balls, you can use tennis balls. But just finding a spot on your body, connecting to where you hold tension, and then just letting it go. Obviously, we can't go out and get massages right now. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we can't go out and get massages right now, so we're going to focus on taking care of yourself. This is part of self-care. You don't need to be in a bubble bath, you know, filled with candles and champagne. You can sit on your couch for five minutes, relax, and just give yourself a little massage. Or you can use a ball and roll into it and just focus on breathing. So that's the fourth thing that you can do. Give yourself a little self-massage, probably right here, because we've all been texting family. Okay, because we've all been texting family. Yeah, one second, I just want to finish. So we're going to try to press into the spots where you know you hold tension. For me, it's the jaw, right? And the upper back and the neck. Just giving yourself a couple of moments to relax in that place. And then the last thing, come here, the last thing I was going to say is to give someone a hug, right? Yes. Because that's the best thing. Connecting with someone, someone in your family. Give your dog a hug. If no one's around, you can give yourself a self-hug. Just wrap your arms around yourself. It's just that feeling of comfort and stability that can get you through tough times. So see if any of those things. And roof. Yeah, and a stuffed dog is always better than a live dog. I say, right? Yes. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. I'm not a stuffed animal. So try those few things, see if they help you out, and um, let me know. And good luck. And goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Yay, bye-bye. Good job.